Welcome back. So let's continue with our second example on comparing data in Excel to find matching records. And th in this example, we shall be using one of the most powerful tools in Excel called the Power Query. So one beautiful thing about using the Power Query is that every time your source data or your original lists get new information, you only have to come and refresh your reports and everything will update itself automatically without you doing anything. This is far, far a very huge advantage over the known match and the VLOOKUP functions that we used in our first example. By the way, if you did not watch our first video on how to match data using the VLOOKUP and the match functions, click in the link in the description on this video here. Guys, let's get started with our step number one. So we need to first convert these two data sets here into what is called an Excel data table. So how do we do that? You just come and click anywhere in the data set. You can either click Ctrl T on your keyboard or you can just go back to the ribbon on the insert tab and then click table. So Excel will ask you, do you want to go ahead and create this table out of the range that has been highlighted? You can see the range that is highlighted is surrounded by dancing dots. So if your dataset already have column headers, go ahead and click OK. So your dataset will be converted into a table. Let's go ahead and also convert our second list. Come back to your list, click there once, hit the control T on your keyboard. You will see the dancing dots around the data set. You also confirm that the data set has column headers or table headers, click OK. So that list is also created. So what I forgot here on list one is I did not give the table name. So I'll go back and give a table name as list A. I hit enter. I also come back to the second list and I also give a table name as list B. We shall understand in a moment why we actually need to do table naming. Now that we have our lists ready, let us establish a connection between these two tables using the Power Query tool. Click in anywhere in the table. Go to the data tab on your ribbon and then under the gate and transform group, you click on from table or range. So Excel will load into a Power Query editor and basically will return relatively the same table. I'm comfortable with the name of the table that we previously gave. So I'll go ahead and click on the close and load. You just point on the arrow pointing down, close and load. I close and load two. So I will just close and load this one into a connection only. So I choose only create a connection and click OK. The queries and connections tab will open and my connection for list A is already established. So I come back to my second table, a point anywhere in the data, go to the data tab, under the get and transform data group, I click from table or range, I give Excel some time to load into the Power Query editor. Literally, it returns the same table. I'm comfortable with the name of the table that we earlier gave. I will just close and load two. I also close and load this one as a connection only. So let's continue and see how do we get now to compare these two lists and get our results pulled out. Now the next step is to merge them. So I'll go ahead and click anywhere in the first list. I go to my gate and get data tab. Then I come to combine queries. Then where I see the match. Or alternatively, if I do not follow this path, I can just go back to the data tab, 
under queries and connections, right click on list A on this connection here. I right click and also click on match. So whatever path you follow, you will still arrive at the same place. So let me go ahead and click match. So when you do that, the merge dialog box will open. And so I have to select the tables that I'd like to merge. Currently, list A is already selected for me. I only need to select list B here. And now I'll be using the account number as a column that I'll use to compare between these two tables. And then I will do a left outer all from first matching from the second. I go ahead and click OK. So the Power Query Editor will open once again. And now it will append and create a merged table that contains list A and list B. So while in the Power Query Editor, I rename this new table as records records matching list B. So I can go ahead and expand. I can go ahead and expand this column. I only concentrate on the account number. I click OK. I can come back to the drop down. I untick the null values. Then I say OK and then I can get rid of this column. After that, I can close and load two. So where do I want to actually load my results of records that were found matching in list B? I just say I want to load it as a table. Let me load it on an existing worksheet. You can either create a new worksheet or for this example, I load it on an existing worksheet. Let me choose the location. Let's say I want to paste the results here. I go ahead and say OK. So Excel will fetch those results for records that were found matching in a list B. So I can go ahead and rename uh, this table here. I say records matching uh, list B. So you can go ahead and print out this list if your goal was to do so. So let's pull out records that are not matching in list B. So I can just come back to the queries and connections. I right click on list A, click on merge, and then the merge dialog box opens once again. List A is on top. I come to the second list. I choose list B. I'll still use the account numbers. I say OK. The Power Query Editor will open once again, and then I can give a name to this new uh, table that I would like to create. It will be for records not matching list B. I hit enter, and then the next step is I want to expand on uh, list B by clicking these arrows pointing both sides. I concentrate on the account number column and then I can now click on the drop down and check select all, highlight null values, click OK, go ahead and remove this column, close and load two. I'd like to load the results into a table, which I will go ahead and do. And I will put it on an existing worksheet around this area here. And I click OK. So Excel will pull out records that did not match. I can go ahead and rename this list, uh, records not matching list B. 
Remember we said one of the greatest advantages of using the Power Query over the known match and the VLOOKUP functions is that every time one of these lists get new data, you just come and refresh on these reports here and everything will update automatically without you doing anything. So let us see that one in action. I'll come to list one and add a new record. Let's say I'm going to add a record that also sits in uh, the second list. For example, KR, SSR, uh, 10106. It's something that's already sitting in, uh, in uh, the second table. So I just click save. And then I can now come and refresh this report here for records that are matching in list B. You see we currently only have nine records, but when I refresh, we are supposed to get 10 records matching because I have added another record on this list. Let's do that and see. Come back to the data tab, refresh all, and your report report will refresh automatically and you can see this record coming up here. So that's the beauty of using uh, Power Query. You can build a template once and for all and every time you keep updating your source data, every other reports will update automatically. Guys, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon and activate your notifications so that you do not miss on any new future videos of the same nature that I will be posting.